Welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is Nathan today We are in the siege of Ogremar raid in Mist the Pandaria and we are going to be getting out of bounds which we already are and uh, we're going to be taking a look around the Veil of Eternal Blossoms and the uh, oh, the whole storm win at the very end where you fight uh, Garma Garrosh and it's going to be great. Uh, we're going to go out of bounds in the Barrens. This is going to be a complete series here. So I'm very excited to do this series. It's going to be a three-part video as I'm going to split it up into multiple parts. So I'm going to do the Veil of Eternal Blossoms first. Then I'm going to do the Barrens before uh, Ogremar. Then I'm going to do the end where uh, you get out with Stormwind and view the destruction of Stormwind and what's going on there. Now, the way I got out, if you want to see that, I officially now have membership on the video. I did a vote in the community, and all of you voted yes. I mean, even in the Discord, you guys were like, yeah, bring on the, the membership. I am now going to be offering in the future a higher price membership where I will be doing a lot more detailed videos than I give my lower to the lower tier members. I guess I'll say that in a very nice way. I'm trying to say that in a respectful way. I love you guys and your support. Um, I'm just saying that the... 999 will be different from the 299 so uh in a very big way uh the nine the 299 will able to see the escapes but they're not going to get the detailed guides if you want the detailed guides and everything that's going to have to offer i will be in the 999 a month guides so those will be coming later on i'll have more detail in that as for now if you want to know how i escape out of these raids out of these dungeons Please join the 299 membership and I will have all the videos. I've already posted two videos of how to escape, which is the skate of the setting sun. And I did the Mogushan vaults. So those are already been posted. Members are already getting to watch them. Now, as always, guys, remember, this is not mandatory. You don't have to join. 95% of all my content will be free and will be public for you to watch. So if you want to join, it's another way you support the channel. If you don't, fair enough. Please just watch the videos and enjoy the OOB. And either way, I appreciate all your guys' support. You guys are awesome. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So let's get right into the video. We have already escaped outside of the Siege of Ogremar. We are at the second boss, which is the Fallen Protectors after Immersus. And uh, we're going to be exploring the Villa of Eternal Blossoms. Now, I have not been out here yet. So let's go take a look around. Let's head out this way. Now, I don't know if we're going to run into any death walls or anything like that. I'm assuming we might, just because I've never actually explored. So just remember, this is going to be all brand new to me, just like it's going to be brand new to you guys, unless you've already been out here. So I have never been out here yet. I've never been past the boundary walls. This one is pretty simple to get out of. You basically just fly out. <laughs> That's what I'll tell you right in the beginning. Um, but yeah, let's go take a look around and see what we can find. Now we are on the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, but this is the Siege of Ogremar version. So I don't know what they're going to have. Ooh, we're already hitting a red cloud mist. Interesting. What is that all about? All right. Very neat. So they do keep the entrance over here pretty much the same. I'm curious to see how much of the map they actually keep outside of here. And my other question is, is all of the Siege of Ogremar connected together? Like, is the Barrens here in this map? And is... Storm went here as well. I don't know. I guess that's what we're gonna have to find out. I'm assuming they're all in different versions, but so far we got like a dread wasteland out here. Um, now we can clear all this up by drinking an inky black potion. There we go. Now that does kind of give a different immersion, doesn't it? Look at that. I love the gate and everything all lit up. Now guys, I just wanted to just clarify a few things before we get started and dive really deep into this video. I'm only offering the membership because uh, I know some of you aren't very happy with my decision. But, you know, I had the community vote. It was fair. Everybody voted yes. Some of you are 50-50. Um, and I understand your pushback on it. And I, I do hear your complaints. Um, I don't want to push you guys away just because you're not joining the membership. You know, that's not what I'm all about. Not just about the money. Uh, but there is a big risk in doing these OOBs. You know, Blizzard, just because they haven't put action on my channel to shut me down, doesn't mean they won't in the future. I mean, I don't know how far they're going to let me go with all the out-of-bounds stuff. 
maybe to the current content maybe to not i don't know i'm gonna keep doing this as long as i can and if they end up shutting down my channel well you know i'm still gonna continue doing world of warcraft stuff it will just be different and i will respect their wishes so but for now we're gonna continue with the ob stuff and there is an extreme risk to it so that's really the only reason why i'm gonna be offering the membership with the full detail but i want to give something back to the community for your guys's paid time so but anyways, I won't beat around the bush anymore on that subject. If you want to join, it's up to you. If you don't, that's also cool as well. So let's keep exploring the out of bounds and let's go have a fun time. So far, there's not too much out here in the distance. Now, you, as you can see, we're completely outside of the map. So we're not, you know, we're nowhere here anymore. You can't even see us on the map anymore. So I'm very curious of what's actually far out here. Now, this is really cool. You can see the edge of the world already. And it's very dark and gloomy out here with all this red mist. I'm very curious of why this red fog is here. I've actually never seen that outside. I'm assuming just to cover up what's in the distance. A lot of the assets are very dull out here. Not too much going on. Let's go see what's over here. Is that a cave in the distance? What is that? Yeah, it looks like a cave. Is it open is the question. And I'm glad we can ride mounts, by the way. This is really nice. A lot of times you can't ride mounts. Ooh. Okay. So there is a cave. That does look like water. Now, we have to be careful here because as you guys know, jumping in water in OOB can result in a lot of bad things. But it looks like it gets cut off. So you can kind of see the water is cutting through the cave here. So let's go into the cave. And let's kind of avoid the water just in case. Oh, everything does took back to normal. Okay. Cool. But let's be careful going into the water. Oh, I forgot. We can walk over it. We have inflatable mount shoes. <laughs> uh, it's been a minute since I've done one of these, guys. I was on vacation for 10 days, so I'm back now. And I thought this would be a fun series to do by kicking off the Siege of Ogremar. Now, remember, this is all blind. I don't know what's in here. I've never actually done the Siege of Ogremar out of bounds yet. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're already getting stuck. Yay, okay. Okay, we can metamorphose this out, so that's good. Things like that. You know what? Just for safety, I'm going to switch to Vengeance because that gives us the... Um, the uh, Infernal Strike so that if we do get stuck again, we can use that and not relying on the cooldown of... You know what? Let's do a different mount. Not relying on the cooldown of metamorphosis, so... I recently just got this mount not too long ago. I got it from... Um, doing the super blooms and uh okay it doesn't look like there's too much back there so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna actually head back out of the cave because i don't want to get stuck in here so let's go back out this way and let's go take a look we will switch back to vengeance uh here in a minute but we're gonna stay and uh or sorry we're gonna stay and have we're gonna stay in vengeance we're gonna switch back to havoc here in a minute uh so we can go climb the mountains and stuff but let's go back out to the cave because we don't want to get stuck and I don't want to end the video like right there and have to go cut again. So <laughs> that's no fun. So let's keep going back out. Okay, we did fall. So it does know that we were in a cave. And now we're back out. So let's go explore the mountains out this way. And let's go see if there's anything over here. So that's cool. They do have the cave in the render back there. So but that was really neat. So far, no death walls. Which is really nice. I love when you're able to ride a mount in the raids because that makes it so much nicer getting around. It takes forever to walk. Now, here is the edge of the world here. The only thing I'm curious about is there gray textured space down there. Um, let's drink an Iki Black Potion. Let's find out. Nope, that looks like the complete void. So, ooh, look at that. So you can see the inside of the cave over there a little bit, as you guys can tell. Can we zoom in here? There we go. I give you guys a better, a little bit of a better look. So the cave does end. There's actually nothing over there. So that's kind of nice to know. So we made the right decision of not going there. We're going to keep the inky black potion on for just a minute because it allows us to see different stuff and textures in the distance. Look at that. You can see the tower sticking out of the ground there. That's where we came out of, right? If we can get over these mountains, we could probably go explore a lot more out that way. That's probably just back into the map, right? But let's go find out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to switch back to Havoc. 
because we need infernal strike okay and then we're gonna mount up with our favorite mount all right we're gonna do a little bit of ob here so let's take a look what's up here I do love the terrain on this map. Makes it a lot easier to do OOV. Uh, not right there, though, fortunately. But I think we can get up here, though. Let's wait for a second Infernal Strike charge, or Fell Rush, sorry. So that we can get up the mountain here, because, you know, we don't want to get stuck. You know what? I don't know if there's anything actually out there, because you can see in the mini map that there is stuff over there, but it like ends. So what we might want to do is actually head out this way. Is there an easier way to get up? That's the question. Maybe right here. All right, this might be better actually. Looks like we're climbing pretty good here. Sometimes you just got to find that right spot, you know? All right, this isn't bad right here. So we're actually doing pretty good. So let's keep heading out this way. Now, unfortunately, because we're in a raid, we can't use toys or nothing. So we have to rely on our full OOB climbing skills here. And I'm keeping on the black inky black potion because I want to see better out here. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. So, so far, there's nothing out here. So, we got to head up this way. Now, unfortunately, it looks like we're hitting a dead end. So, I don't even think you can get up there. Without doing some manipulation climbing here. But let's actually go head back this way. And uh, let's go back around. Sorry about that, guys. I thought there would be more up here where we could keep climbing. But that's pretty steep. And I don't think there's a way up there. Unless we keep manipulating the mountains here. Nah, this is going to take forever. I'd have to do a lot of climbing. And I don't want to have you guys watch all that. So let's go head back out this way. And let's just go back around to the veil. And then we'll go from there. So let's go head back out this way. And let's go jump and see what happens here. Now, this looks like it's actually back into the map here. So, we do want to be careful. I mean, we can always get back out. It's not that hard. It's just that I don't want to have to cut the video as much as possible. I want you guys to be able to see all the exploration I'm doing. Okay, yeah. So, that's going back into the map. So, if we put back our inky black potion. You can see, I think we're like right around over here. So, if we were to go back in. Let's head back this way. Oh, we're falling. Okay, so we're just going to fall. That's okay. Let's head back this way. All right, we're just going to accept our defeat and take the long way around. Forget it. I say forget it. It's fun. I get to spend more time with you guys anyways. I like that. All right, let's go head back up the mountain here. And let's go take a look and see what's on the other side now. Now, I don't know how much of this dungeon is here. Or the raid, I should say. Sorry. Let's go head back to, like, the Veil of Eternal Blossoms area. And let's head back in this way. And that's where we started. Remember, we came through the gates here. So let's head out this way and see what's over here. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. What I do like about this raid is, uh, it's very iconic, right? I mean, the, everybody loved the Miss Bandari expansion. It was, it was a great expansion. It was a lot of fun. They did make you really OP, and then I will admit. All right. 
Looks like Soy Kevin just came online. Hello, Soy Kevin. <laughs> Soy Kevin. Funny. All right. Let's head up here. Let's go here. And let's mount back up. Because we don't want to run the whole way. And we move so much faster. It might need to dismount though and get up here. There we go. Wow, so they actually do keep a lot out here. Where are we at the moment? Does it show us on the map? Nope, we are completely out of bounds now. Look at all this. So they do keep the inference of the... So where would this be? I guess Kunlao Summit? I guess that would be my guess of where we're currently out at the moment. Currently at... The music's kind of boring in this place, isn't it? I mean, it's it's mysterious because that's kind of how the Siege of Ogamar is, but just it reminds me of like a Dustwood type. Here's the edge of the world again. Wow, so it does go pretty far back, as you can tell, all the way back here. So let's keep heading out that way. And let's go see if we can find that. So they do keep a but I love the uh, leftover green spots from where stuff is usually laying on the map. I always thought that was kind of neat. Now let's see, does this go farther back or is this it? I think this is the edge of the world again. So it does go down though, so let's go head out that way. And let's go take a look and see what's back here. So there's a whole valley area. One thing I do like is the textured space over here. Look at this like gold, you know, dirt looking stuff. That's pretty neat. Ooh, look at that formation. Wow, so this map does extend out pretty far. Kind of surprised it's all kept back here. It looks like you can keep going all the way back here. So if you actually can keep walking this way. Here we go. And isn't actually, this is where the entrance would be to uh, over here, right? If I'm if I'm not mistaken. So it'd actually be going into the Gate of the Setting Sun, into Talong Steps. So this is normally where the entrance would be, because you can tell by the textured ground here. So pretty neat. They do keep a lot of this back here. So normally, I think the gate would be set up right here. So you can kind of get an idea of where we're at at the moment. Gosh, it goes really far. Ooh, what's that on the ground? Let's go take a look. Look at this temple stuff. Ooh, they, okay, so they do keep runes out here. As you can tell, there's a bunch of runes and I think there's another cave actually. Let's go check that out. Yeah, so I think right now we are in. Yeah, we're in the dread waste, right? Yeah, we got the dread waste over here because you got temple of the. So we're like right around in this area. Cool. So normally the gate of the setting sun would be up here, but the, all the wall and everything's missing. There's the cave there, but it's filled in. And they do keep a lot of the statues and stuff out here. 
Oh, I wonder if we can find any test hidden NPCs out here. That's always really neat when we find those. What is that? What the heck? We need our scope. Where is it at here? Look at that thing. Huh. That's kind of neat. I think that's usually sticking on top of a tower. That's kind of random. They would just keep that thing just floating out here. It's kind of cool though. So this does go pretty far down into the dreadways. And I think normally a lake's here if I'm not mistaken. Let's go check out the edge over here. Cause sometimes they do keep hidden NPCs and test stuff out here. So I just want to make sure <clears throat> we're not missing anything by not loading in. Let's go to our graphics real quick. And is our view distance set to max? It is. Okay. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything here. So this is another edge of the world over here. Ooh, it's spooky out here. I do love that floating uh, glyph thing going on over there. That's really neat. Look at that. That's like highlight of the video right there. What is that thing? Someone can tell me what that is. It looks like an altar of some sorts. Ah, here we go. Okay, so this does go farther down to the valley here. Ooh, they do keep a home. Or it looks like a little house out here as well. So let's go check that out. We're just on an adventure, guys. We're just gonna look and see what we find. I wish the music was a little more exciting. I love the random one little house out here, all by itself. Does the music change if we go inside? Oh, but everything's still here. Like, the cook's still going. Look at that. They do keep a little house out here. And the music came back. Okay. So the music just turns off when you go in there, but it doesn't actually change, unfortunately. Check it out. They keep one of the rabbit holes out here. Can we go inside of it is the question. We got to find out, right? Look at that. Oh, we discovered it too. Layer of skigit. Huh. They do keep the whole cave out here. All right, cool. All right, we had to go in there. I mean, come on. We saw a cave. It's like, come on, we got to go explore it. But we did lose our place climbing the mountain, unfortunately. So we're going to have to go back and do it again. Oh, how lucky did we just get? Now, the question is, though, where do we go from here? Because I guess over here. Because I can't climb up that. I don't think I can. Yeah, no, there's no way. We're just going to have to fly around. There we go. We're going to have to just fly around. Oh, okay. We can just fly around completely. There we go. So let's go up this way. Let's go see what's up here. I did like that we find that little hidden cave over there. That was pretty neat. All right. We're just going to keep going up this way. And we're running into a dead end. So we need to make it up this mountain here. Fortunately, I don't think it's going to be easy to do. Maybe, though. 
Let's find out. Ah. Maybe we can go this way? I think we can go around the mountain here. So what we can do is do this. Oh, we made it. Ooh, look at us. There we go. Nice. All right. Oh, man, we got we got lucky a couple times there. Okay, I think I see something more coming up here. I see grass up here, so let's go find out. There's a little bit of shrubbery up here. Okay, we're going to have to go this way. We have no choice. Um Nice. All right, so far doing good. Okay, guys, we're making our way around the mountain. Um, so far, we're like almost to the top, and then we're not. <laughs> so let's go up here. Here we go. All right, let's mount up. We're just going to keep climbing the steps here. Now, I don't think we can, unfortunately... If we get up here, I think we can fly over there. Or do we want to go this way? Because if we go this way, we can get up there, but I don't know if that's high enough is the question. Ah, uh, okay, we didn't make it. So now the question is, do we go this way or do we go that way? Because we need to keep going up the hill or the mountain here. And I think we want to go this way. So if we can, we need to get up here. And I don't think we're going to make it. So what we might have to do... Is try to get up this way. Ah, might be too steep is the problem. What we might want to do is to use the infernal strikes. A lot of times what you can do when you're climbing is you can use infernal strikes to get up. So if this is going to work, we can infernal strike here and then infernal strike again. So let's see if we're able to pull it off. Let's find out. If not, we're going to have to cut our losses and go all the way back around. Ah, see, so what you can do is you can keep climbing. The problem is you got to put them in concession here, one after the other. I'm going to feel real stupid if I could just go around here. Now, it looks like there is a little cave or something up there, so I do want to get up there and find out what's up there. The only question is, can we climb up there? Let's see if we can go around first. Uh. Doesn't look like we can. Alright. Well, guys, what we're going to have to do, I'm going to cut the video right here, and I will be right back. Alright, guys, we are back again, and we have officially gone out of the valley, and we've come back around. So let's go take a look more and see what we can find out here. Now, usually the gate of the setting sun is over there. So I remember actually going to this place in that video, if you guys remember this cave here. It's the same cave with the statue and the cool looking ceiling. So that's really neat. So they do keep the same cave in this OB as well. So let's mount back up and keep going out this way. Now you can see a really awesome cool effect going on in the background here. Look at that. I love that view. I'm curious to see if you can actually keep going. Um, can we go back there? Oh no, that's where we got out of originally, remember. Um, I believe. Aw oh, man, I failed that really bad. Oh, we can get up here. 
I, the only thing I hate about Miss Pandaria OBs is that I feel like everything looks so climbable, and then you try to do it, and it just fail miserably. Yeah, so this is where we actually came out. I remember we were trying to jump along the cliffs there. So let's go head back this way, and let's continue and see what we can find in the back there. I want to go see that cool twirling, and I think that's actually part of the raid, right? In the distance there? Because that looks like the the two... Oh, that okay. So that's the broken statues right here. So we're around here in this area, right over here. And over there on the right, it's supposed to be the Valley of the Four Winds. So they do keep the statue out here. And as you can tell, the color is coming back because we're actually heading towards back into the raid. You can kind of get a better look of what's out here. And if you remember, we haven't done the second boss yet. Because we we broke out of the raid, so... Technically, we're not supposed to be out here yet. So we're going to keep going this way. And let's go see what they keep over here. Here's the broken statue. They do keep that there still. Now are we on the map? We are on the map. Okay, so this is part of the map now. Can we... The question is, can we get up here? And I think you're supposed to go that way anyways, right? I don't want to fall back into bounds. Let's go out here. And let's go around the long way. I want to get up on the mountains here. That's where I'm trying to get to. Because I saw like a cave or something they kept up there. And that's what I was curious about. I do keep a lot of this out here. Now, I haven't done this dungeon or raid. Sorry. I haven't done this raid in a while. So... I might be missing a few things of where you're actually supposed to go after you kill the second boss. Bosses, I should say. I do love the view, though. Can you see us on the map? No, we're actually off the map again. So that's the boss arena over here. Normally, I think you're supposed to go in there, right? So they do keep all of this here. I want to get on top of the mountain because I want to see the whole map, but... Problem is, it's going to be a lot of climbing, so I can definitely attempt it. Um, I just don't know where to start is the question. I want to, I guess I'd have to climb up that way. Question is, I need to get up there first, and I'm not sure where to start to do that. So that's going to be the first challenge. Yeah, I'm not sure. But let's keep heading this way and let's go see what they keep. Alright, so we're going to head out this way. Now, you know what would be very interesting? If we could actually skip the second boss, which we already did, and get it directly to the next place where we're supposed to go. Oh, so they do unload water here. Usually there's like a little pond here, and they do keep some of the water here. Ooh. Alright, we would have fallen. Did we do Are we on the map yet? No, not yet. We're completely off the map. Okay. Let's go ahead in here. Here's the temple. They don't keep the entrance here. I don't think normally you're supposed to be here, right? 
Oh, there we go. Now we're flying back into the map here. Oh, can we pass everything is the question. Oh, here's the entrance. Huh. Now, I don't remember if that door opens up or not. I haven't done this dungeon in a long... Or, I keep saying dungeon. I haven't done this raid in a long time. So, that's the play area right here. There's the boss. So, we're technically not back in... Oh, here we go. So, that's where you would come out of. And then you would go this way. I'm curious to see if we can... Skip everything. Oh yeah, we can go directly to Zeal. Okay. Alright guys, well, I mean, I'm gonna end the video here because that's pretty much what's outside of the part one of the Siege of Ogremar. As you can tell, they do keep a lot of the Eternal Blossom. They do keep some parts of the other maps around. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can't wait to show off what's in the Barrens next. So I'm gonna be doing that part two. So look out for that. It's probably gonna be dropping Thursday. Uh, but yeah, I just want to thank everybody who's tuned into the video, and I will see you guys all Thursday. Take care.